Hi everybody, this is J.P. Holding, the world-famous Christian apologist and atheist ass-kicker. I'm here today to do a little more beating on that clown crazy pills. I have to tell you that this idiot gets more stupid every day. Can you believe he posted a video copying my format? This moron lacks originality and has the comedic skills of a Vulcan eunuch. Now, I recently received some criticism because I don't move in my videos, so I've decided to do a little dance, and the dance I like best is the chicken dance. It's very sentimental for me. You see, my mother said she really laid an egg with me. That is probably the nicest thing anyone has ever said. Well, here I go. I recently made a video where I responded to Crazy Pill's claim that I lied about the meaning of the word bazaars. As you remember, bazaars does not mean to plunder, but simply means to take. I hope you all followed my advice and didn't do any research on this. This would be just a waste of your time and you're really not smart enough. Today, I want to address another claim of this jackass. He also said that I lied about the reason I blocked him. You see, I told my viewers that I blocked this idiot because he was spamming me. Well, stupid clown, lucky for me I saved all our correspondence, and I'm here today to set the record straight and show everybody that you are a liar. This all started when that fundy atheist had the audacity to criticize one of my videos in a response. When I received this message, I was madder than a bobcat in a piss fire. So I sent him a private message. In this message, I told him that he changed the subject, and this was all an argument of outrage. I was pretty sure that he'd tuck his tail between his legs, and I'd never hear from this idiot again. But being the clown that he is, he had the nerve to respond. He asked me to counter his points instead of providing insults. He made some ludicrous statement that insults are the tool of the weak-minded. The moron also said that he didn't change the subject because the passages he referenced were related to the ones I used. This made me madder than a one-legged waitress working in IHOP, so I decided to write him back and show him. I told him that I did counter his points, but I was now going to humiliate him publicly. I assured him that the passages weren't related and even called him a fundy atheist. Finally, I set the record straight by saying that insults are not the weapon of the weak-minded. That's the rule the truly weak-minded like you made up to feel better about yourselves for being ignorant and deserving that label. I told him to stop writing and wasting my time. I was sure that he would, but no, this jackass had to respond. He said he couldn't wait for me to bring the hurt and that he'd be happy to defend the relationship of the passages. He said that insults are easy, but lucid arguments are not. Yeah, right. He also said that I started emailing him, and if I wanted him to stop, then I shouldn't reply to this email. Well, I wasn't having any of that. I got madder than a Keebler elf who was demoted to Fudge Packer, so I sent him another message. I pointed out that he must be having problems with comprehension, because I didn't start emailing him. He started by responding to my video. I mean, how dare him? I told him that if he did it again, I'd report him to the YouTube administrators. Then I blocked him. Now, I actually didn't report him to YouTube, but I did go home and cry in my wife's lap for about half an hour. Then she let me play that game where I dress up as a pig and she plays Bubba the pig farmer. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Can we cut that part out? We're live? Oh. Anyway, as you can clearly see, the clown was definitely spamming me, and I really had no choice but to block him. I mean, 
Who has the balls to respond to my PMs? What an idiot. This is JP Holdings signing off. I'll see you later.